Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Um, happy July. Well, it will be the day after you watch this, or it will already be July of 2023. Um, this is going to be quite different. I am shaking things up for the second half of the year. And I may be showing you a Moxie Life right now. Um, July is my birthday month, so I like to kind of, sometimes I experiment, sometimes I just do things for a month, sometimes um, I just look back and go, I need to change things. And it just happens to be, you know, the halfway mark through the year. So um, I kind of like having that, like every six months, there's kind of like this change up. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I... Like a couple years ago, I made um, a point to have like full day planning and a lot of journaling for every day in July. Um, other Julys, <laughs> I haven't done anything special. But this year, um, this was mainly sparked by the new... Um, planners that are coming out through Sterling Inc. And uh, they went on sale about a, well, pre-sale about a week ago. Um, take your time when you're ordering because all sales are final with that. Um, and so I have been taking my time. I thought, oh, okay, I think I know what I need. Um, and so <laughs> I may have this as a backdrop, but I have some, some, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting my screen to not go to sleep here. Um, when I record, sometimes my screen goes to sleep so I can still see my hand while I'm recording. Um, I have my other planners that I've been using this year and thought I would bring those out a little bit and kind of explain what's been happening. Um, so, and this ties into the Sterling Inc. stuff, I promise. Um, I thought in Sterling Inc. I would get an A5, another A5, and a Weeks because this has been working out so well for my health planner. Planner. Um, and sorry, my my um, bruise is healing up. As you can see, it is better from last time, but it's still healing. Um, then I realized... Well, as I was like, okay, I'll put both of these sizes in my shopping cart because it feels really solid. I definitely want this one. I definitely want this one. And then I was really attracted to the TN size, the traveler's notebook size. I, I always like a bigger one. That's why I always go to A5s. I don't think I could do smaller. I love this week's for the... Like it's so small and it has the the layouts and stuff that I need for my health stuff. Like I don't need to journal every single day on anything. Um, the horizontal weeks is working out great. So I thought I wanted three. <laughs> I'm like, I'll, I'll find a usage for the TN size. Um, no, actually what I need is this my health notebook to be a bigger size. I realized I was cramming. It's, it's kind of hard to write in this. So I am going to get, so basically it's the same size as an A5. It's just a little bigger and it'll have a little bit more room in there anyway, because it won't have um, the like stuff at the bottom here. So that will extend down and I'll get, you know, full. And then I can kind of, I've been rethinking on what I'm doing on this side. So far, I've kind of segmented it out, segmented it, <laughs> if that's a word. I'm still healing everyone. I'm off my meds. I'm off, I'm on zero meds right now. So I'm just really thrilled about that. I would like to do maybe more like a little grid or like some ways of kind of tracking things a little differently on this one. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to get the Sterling Inc. version of this. And so then I thought, oh yeah, so I don't need a small weeks. I'll just get the TN and the A5. And um, 
I do love like a gold edge on things, you know, like for example, this one, this is my journal. I write in almost every night. If not, I catch up the next day. Um, but I pretty much try to catch up within a day or so. I never totally off, but I, I journal in this, um, and I, I will continue to do so because I just like it. I do. And, and I've watched, um, some other planning videos as of late who have all been using, um, Sterling ink and they talk about how romantic it is to have like this, like, um, gilded edge and then like it gets worn down and I feel very much this is that for me. I don't really journal in these. I just plan in them. So this will be my romantic one where it gets, you know, kind of messed up and, and whatever. I might change up a little bit how I do things in here for next year, but I'm still going to get this. This is the magic of eye I've gotten for like at least four years now. I got, I started with a little mini one because, um, I got it like halfway through the year. She had them really cheap and I just liked everything in it. And it's a horizontal planner. Um, I can show you in the back here. So it looks like this. And so I'm writing out all my notes. Now I might make it a little bit more romantic by <laughs> romantic. Hey, if, if I want that aesthetic, that's going to be what I do, but I usually just use pencil in here. I could see like using like a really nice pen at some point, but I love these like weekly intentions. And then, um, for every month, I had already pulled a card here um, and then I kind of set actionable steps and these um, there's eight categories for goals in this one, which line up with the ones in here. So I, I kind of have been mulling over, do I really need a Moxie life? I like the system. I know the system. I transfer that system to other planners. Um, and, and this also has like a monthly in here as well. So there's a lot going on in this one. And as I said, I'll definitely order this one again. Um, having the two Sterling inks, I think will, I, I definitely was going to get an A5, definitely get a health one. So it's going to be a TN. I will get white, um, on the edges because that's where I am. <laughs> I just, for some reason it, it keeps it more clean for me. I, I do like right now having these tabs and this as a place finder kind of a thing, but I don't think I'll have that on the next one. And I don't know if I'll even use this cover. Um, I I'm going to see about just using them naked, <laughs> just using the covers that they come with. I'm going to get the caramel for the A5 one and get the Miss Blue for the TN one. I, I'm like, I wish I could use the TN one now, but I know I have six more months of these little bunnies and that's okay. Um, so <laughs> getting down to it, I have not been using this one much at all. This is my Laurel Denise. Um, I think the last time in here was April, as you can see. Um, so there's nothing in May. I started, I guess, a little bit. There's nothing in June. Well, that makes me feel a little better that there was a little bit going on starting in May, but I'm going to see like what I can do in July. I think that I do want to return to this. And this is mainly for social media. Like I have trouble just wrapping my head around how many steps it takes to do social media type things. And maybe it'll be digital in a notion type thing. I'm really going to have to see like over the next couple months, how I use this. I thought there was a possibility of me like using this for every day. I don't see it. My brain, um, definitely needs like a weekly vertical of some kind, cause I need to see the hours and this doesn't provide, I know they have a vertical version, the columns to me, um, because they don't have any lines or grid really throw me off. Um, I don't mind having 
like this. I think the horizontal helps me write a little better. So I would always get the horizontal. There's just something, it, it's kind of like the weeks to me. This is very similar to weeks. Um, so that's where I'm at. So that's why I, I really, when I started looking at the Sterling Ink going, okay, is there anything I can eliminate here? So this was one that I'm thinking of. Coming down to the experiment then is, is it possible that I just go to Sterling Ink and not get a Moxie Life for this next year? It depends on what they release. If it's very, very similar, if there's, like I'll still get, like I have their highlighter um, markers here. So I have these markers here. They, Sierra is definitely hinting very heavily on she'll, they'll be providing dot markers. You can use those in any, like, um, any planner that you have. If you're very familiar with this system, you can transfer it anywhere. And they do have the accompanying books. I feel like I can use the same system in here. Now I'm not starting out the year in this, so I'm not like going through and let's see. So these were, see, they have a lot of goal planning here and I'm only using it for work, but I'm thinking about combining them. So that's what we're going to try in July. So I have some work stuff here, but I also want to put some personal stuff in here. Um, so I, I think I'll write them out in this because I'm just used to using this one, but I'm going to copy them over here. And then as I go into, let's see. So we have June, as I showed in like the last plan with me. Um, so this is coming out to, this is the reset that you're watching. I am a little behind on getting this podcast out. I'm hoping to record that a little later today. But as we go into June, I started putting some personal things on here. Now I'm not able to sit for a long amount of time. So I kind of pre did some of my um, reset things. So I knew that I wanted to do a combo plan with me through the 30th. So what I'm going to be doing is, so this is the reset, but then on Sunday, I'm only going to be doing plan with me's. Um, I know I've been doing one of each, but I'm only going to do plan with me's in here. So this is this current week. And so this week that is totally blank. I'm going to leave it totally blank until um, I plan it is going to have personal and work on here. And I'm going to see if like, then are there like two planners that I can totally get rid of um, because I'm craving simplicity and I love how much is in here. I was really kind of blown away. I thought I would be annoyed by being able to see th things through there. Um, it is a little fluffy, but that's part of what this all is, <laughs> you know, using this paper is it's supposed to, I get it. But then it would look like this would be the only planners that I have next year. Oops, sorry. These three. And that would be amazing. So this would be the TN, the Magic Fi, and just the A5. These two being Sterling Ink, and that's it. Um, so that, that's kind of blowing my mind that this would be all I would need. But before I just like go ahead with that plan, I got to try it out for a month. Um, and so that's why I feel so... Uh, fortunate to come across this during the pre-order period. And um, I mean, I'll, st I'll still be getting this no matter what. I may still feel the need to separate them out. I used to use this for both work and um, yeah, I pretty much just had a Moxie, Moxie Life and my journal like for a couple years. So I, I know how that can work. Um, yeah. And I, I feel like a lot of these 
having all of these categories makes it feel a lot of times that I need to put something in each of them. And I'm getting a lot more comfortable with leaving things blank or just having something in there that um, says maintain or <laughs> like keep, keep on keeping on kind of a thing. So if we go back to June, um, oh, let me get my dot markers out here. And what a difference a whole month makes, my goodness. When I made these goals, it was, I'm trying to think if it was right before my surgery. I think so. Uh, that would be a good question for this. Let's see. If I look at, I'm just curious now, like where in June, in May? In May. So I had my reset come out the 31st. I filmed it early. That's right. I did film it early. Um, when I made these, I hadn't had my first surgery at the end of May and I didn't even know I was having a second surgery. So I put heel, which turned out to be, oh, I got a heel for, from two. Like, and I did like, as of right now, I'm two weeks post-op of my second one and really had a turnaround the last day or so, I think because of how much sleep I'm getting. I was having to wake up in the middle of the night to keep my meds up. <laughs> it's just really hard. I think I've mentioned this where you just have to wake up, have a little bit of food, take some meds and then fall back asleep. Um, but yeah, the last four or five days now I've been able to sleep through the night I'm off all my meds and I'm able to sit but just not very long still so um, I did this this turned into I actually canceled this call and it actually turned into a checkup this last week so I'm going to do that. And that went so well, I graduated. I don't have to see my oncologist anymore. That's how good the news is. I am still like, as of June 1st, I had, you know, this news of just not knowing if there, how much possible cancer was inside my body. And now here I sit and she has cleared me in that area, right? Like sometimes we don't know if there's other things going on in other areas, but she's like, you don't need to follow up with me. You're all good. Just go back to your regular gynecologist whenever that normal time is. And I'm just like, yeah, great. <laughs> you know, um, I did get my infusion in and actually I canceled these two. Those are going to be in August. I moved those forward because um, yeah, because <laughs> I had to. So I'm just going to put surgery down for my 614 one. And my goal for a couple weeks was to be off meds. So this is just me reflecting on this last month. And so that this is more accurate when I look back on it for the year. Um, focusing on health for the month. Definitely. Like I couldn't, I thought maybe like healing up the first week of June and then I could kind of move on from things. I mean, I knew this, this year I wanted to get a hysterectomy. I didn't know it was just going to be this fast and why the reason was. And that to me was like, that's the whiplash I'm having. Um, and then to say everything's fine, like it's, yeah, still processing that. That's why I'm in therapy. But uh, I thought, you know, there would be like some more time to work on things like the website. Uh, I, and I went through last night to kind of look at these. And well, now that's pushed to July. And I feel now, like as I heal up, I can slowly start back into things. Um, but yeah, the whole, the whole month was focused on health. And sometimes you got to do that. But I'm so thankful also that my kid's out of school and I can sleep in in the mornings. 
Um, I mean, my husband's been supporting me through so many different things. Um, yeah, yeah. And I got a lot of family support, actually. <laughs> like, um, you know, my mom and sister really helped out with some dinners. Um, and that's, that's a huge thing when you're going through health stuff. Um, it really helps to have like some kind of dinner plan or easy dinners. Like I, we went through before I had my second surgery here and really talked about like, what are the easiest dinners right now, especially that summer, like you don't want to put anything in the oven. You don't want to have to do anything complicated. So, um, just like, what can we do that's easy that everyone likes and it's working. Like we're just doing like a skillet meal later tonight. Like it's nothing really, really hard to do. So not to outshine, but like the financial part here was like June 1st was our savings goal. And I had been talking about it all up until this point and we hit our savings goal we didn't get to apply that savings towards our goal yet, and that's okay. We're shifting our priorities on that. But we ha made the goal that we made at least, I think, eight months ago. And ironically, it just occurred on the very last day of my husband's work, <laughs> so which is why we're postponing things. So... I just want to cheer that we got that done. Uh, we pre prepaid for all of the surgeries. Um, I'm expecting, you know, to get some money back, but I'm just like, I just want to zero out all the balances right now. I don't want to have to worry about it. We have some cushion from our savings goal, plus some other um, savings that we have that we can do that. Um, they may have to hold on to the money for a while as all the claims come through, but I already hit my out of pocket. They can't charge anymore for the year. So, and then we had to um, put in an insurance payment for June, which was a little different than what we thought. We thought it'd be like half the amount, but realized that Disney, which is where my husband was working, only paid for half of the month, which is fine. It actually was quite a discount still to cover all these big things coming through. So we sent the check off. They wouldn't let us pay it in or online. And just this morning, I was like, please have the check cashed. And it did. It went through this morning. So that is totally taken care of. And then I believe um, July 3rd, not the 4th, because it's a holiday, but 3rd or 4th or 5th, we're going to start into Cobra stuff. Um, and yeah, I... <laughs> I'll show you here in a moment. We don't, I don't only have one appointment for July. So it feels really weird to have all these other appointments in June. Like there was a whole bunch and then only one in July, but I can't really go any place right now, but probably by mid July. I mean, maybe there's something if I can go see my primary care person a little earlier, maybe I'll try to do that. We'll see. We'll see. But that's where we are financial wise. Um, so when I am carrying these forward, uh, let's kind of look at that though. So health wise, I'm just going to put one for my infusion. That's all I have right now. And that's on the 31st the last day of the month. Uh, the other reason that we wanted to make sure we had insurance for quite a while and that um, it's really good insurance was because of the initial ER visit that I went in February was my uncontrolled bleeding. And now that we know it was uterine cancer, <laughs> it's like, oh, well, um, I thought, you know, maybe in the fall I would be getting a hysterectomy and I just didn't want to have zero insurance when like this possible another ER visit could pop in out of the blue. 
And so we're like, we just have to have it all the time. I mean, we have a kid. We, we're not going to like not have insurance for them. So, and then I'll just put heal. <laughs> and then here it will be health. And then it will be some work catching up back on to work. So do that. And you'll see how simple this is all going to be. So we're just going to have also then the July insurance payment. And then like July budget, which is this in between kind of budgeting thing that, um, excuse me. It's because we handled June just fine without paychecks, but as we get into July here, it's going to shift a little bit. So we're just fortunate we don't have car payments. We don't have like really big payments right now. You know, uh, it's benefiting us so much right now to not have that kind of stuff. Um, I think we're pretty much all we have is like a student loan payment. So, which I have a feeling tomorrow they're gonna rule on saying, no, they're not gonna wipe out any debt. I just, that's where we can hope, but I think they're going to have to find a different way or they're not going to be able to do it. Um, so fortunately my, my husband's student loans are getting down pretty far. Like we're almost to, um, it'll, it'll probably be next year that we get under 10,000 on those. So, and again, that, I feel like we could, if he gets working again, we might be able to just kind of lump some, like pay off half of it or something to get him like really far down and then we bar barely have anything over there. So that's a little <laughs> insight there. Um, here we're like, main so maintenance or maintaining, we're kind of in a maintenance mode but I also just want to get some trash out of the garage. Cause we have like a really old vacuum out there that has broken. We can't really give it away. Um, it would just clear out some room in there. And I think we just have to do a trash run with it. Uh, but I can't like go out there and lift a bunch of things right now. So, I might be able to point at some things um, for my husband to kind of put into our, our SUV is pretty much our truck. Like we can put the seats down and put a whole bunch of stuff in there. But it's kind of like we have to kind of collect enough to take to the dump. Um, yeah. So that's why I was kind of like looking at this side first, because this to me is more like logical stuff. I guess. And this is more like heart stuff. Um, although work can kind of straddle those. So like minimal stuff. I feel like for June, I am patting myself on the back for getting like laundry done and all these things done and all set up. And then because we have such a small home, it was like so easy to maintain and then just keep asking for help. Um, I'm doing more and more each day. Um, while not pushing it, like, um, being able to reach down and get things and stuff it, and not have to <laughs> always ask, you know, for help for that. It's getting better. I can feel like that's getting better. So yeah. And just kind of be accepting about where our house is at too. It's, we do need to do quite a clean of my son's room. There he, you know, he brought all home all this stuff from school on the last day. And so we have to kind of get that all into his room and then incorporated and then so he can use his room kind of a thing. Um, I think then I'll put 
I'll just put his room here, but I don't think, I'm not gonna push it too hard. I think we'll just do a little bit at a time. Okay, so for self-care, uh, it's been like skin, hair, um, taking care of my body type stuff, which has been hard um, after surgery. Like after the first surgery, it was like a little hard, but uh, you know, it, it was like a week later, week and a half, and I was doing pretty good. This is like, okay, now I'm at two weeks and it was really hard to kind of wash my hair the first couple times just because it's so long. Um, so, and I've kind of talked about this weekly, so it's it's no surprise for anything, but I think I'll just keep putting self-care here because I don't want to add anything right now. And in the past, I had separated out skincare for a while and hair care for a while. I think, actually, this would be a good goal is to actually have a haircut so that I'm not struggling so much with it. So that would be nice. I think I might ask for it for my birthday. Um, like it's down to my like bra strap at least. <laughs> That's how long it is and it's curly and it's thick. And so it's a lot. Um, I did do, so I would count, count this as success. Um, I did do some Magic the Gathering drafts. They actually just came out with Lord of the Rings. And so um, I do have like three drafts I can do with that. And to have permission to have fun, <laughs> that's what the last kind of two weeks has been about. It's like, oh, those shows that I've been meaning to watch, that I've been pushing off, those little fun things of playing games, I would kind of go, no, no, let me just focus on a little more work. And it's really allowed me to see like, oh, I can take some time to do these things. Um, now I haven't been working much, so I have to find that work-life balance, <laughs> which I've talked about before. When you focus in on certain areas, like this was so heavy, you just like, sucks the energy from all these other sections into that area you just um can't sometimes go in survival mode or just sometimes go in maintenance mode for some of these other things and you don't have to put anything down so i didn't really listen to music that much i it's kind of like podcasts as well those I primarily li listen to in the car and I have not been driving. So that's why, you know, I can push those forward because I just didn't have too much. I probably like, there were a couple appointments that, um, yeah, my infusion where I kind of sat there and was able to kind of listen to some things, but, um, and then therapies, we missed one therapy. <laughs> I'll put a little X here just to remind myself that I, I was on drugs. <laughs> I wasn't on Oxy at the time, but I did um, totally space out my son's one therapy session. Excuse me. This is what I'm drinking right now. Um, but I had to kind of forgive myself for that. <laughs> Because I did, I felt so bad because I'm in the planning. I'm usually on top of everything, but there have been so many times where I'm just spacing out and was focused more on the end of the week for his wrapping up of school. So, and that happened. So when I look here, a uh, website is going to be on here. It's a slow return. I'm, I'm My brain's kind of trying to wrap my wrap my brain around it. <laughs> my brain's trying to wrap myself around my brain. Um, I'm going to, I know I'll do some drafts this month because of the Lord of the Rings set. The artwork on it is just gorgeous. And I love all the like tie-ins of all the characters and things. It's, it's a lot of fun. I wouldn't say Lord of the Rings is like one of my favorite. Um, but it definitely, 
like we've watched all the movies, extended versions and stuff. We'll put those on in the holidays. Um, more so than Harry Potter. I, yeah, um, that can be kind of controversial, so I won't go into it right now, but I, I do find that the communities for Harry Potter are very strong. It's just that, you know, the author's a bit <laughs> controversial. Um, what else? A lot of authors are controversial, I will say. It's, but when they are still present in this world and still um, making comments that exclude others, then I'm definitely against that. So we are going to continue with therapy. Because I had thought that maybe my son would end soon, but we found some free sessions. Um, and then I'm going to have three. I just confirmed my, th my therapist. She'll be out on the fourth having fun. So I think I have the 11th. Um, plus seven is the 18th. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Other way. So here, yeah, I had a question mark here. So this one is going, oh, I didn't erase all the way. Yeah, I was kind of pre-planning last night for this reset. Um, so, and then the 25th. Yeah, I use, still I'm using both pen and pencil because, um, what color am I looking for? Purple. Because things are moving around so much. I think there's going to be four, but we'll see. Let's see. And then his are fifth, twelfth. It helps me to see the dates, especially for billing reasons. That's been a whole thing. They, you know, build a bunch of stuff and they did it wrong. And so they're rebilling a bunch of things right now. And we're getting some refunds again. I think it's going to be um, I don't know if we'll actually get any insurance. We might get some therapy refunds this month. But it might balance out the miss. well, yeah, the missed session because you have to pay for those when you don't show up. And then I expressed how important that was to my family. <laughs> I don't think they really understood like when you miss one of those because I've been the one in therapy for so long but now that we have to keep track of my sons um so I think for probably August or September that's when we'll get like the medical refunds so I think that's about it it helps to see it out this far like you have a lot of room and I think I've I've gotten everything. I'm sure there's things I'm missing or things will kind of change over time. But this is now what I'm going to filter into here. Um, so for this spot, let's see, are there things that I'm tracking personally? I don't have to track healing. Do I want to track some self-care? No, I think that's too much. It's like there's too much pressure. Um, so I was just thinking like in this area, um, I have, this is actually a W. It's hard to see though. Let me erase these. So I just had like these three, which is website onboarding and offboarding. And so onboarding and offboarding for me, um, is like how my clients go from just reading my website to purchasing, to starting sessions, to then offboarding is either they're wrapping up sessions and they need another package. So having that automated email in there, that will allow them to get the next package or um, 
that they're kind of done and that there's some other resources I can send to them and they can keep going with, with their momentum. So that's kind of, I, those to me feel like extensions of the website experience, which is why that's all I'm focusing on right now. Um, possibly in August, I'll look into like, um, like social media and that kind of thing. I, I very much am going to be looking at Laurel Denise, playing with it a little bit. I have to say, I absolutely loved uh, Cindy CG, CB. <laughs> there's a, sorry, there's a magic um, streamer called CGB, um, who I was watching recently on a couple things. Cindy, I want to say the pronunciation is like Quintal Baldo. Um, please correct me if you, if you feel necessary, but Cindy CB is, um, GB. There we go. CGB is her initials. Released a great video this week about like, she's kind of going through her work planning and changing up her work planner and just trying something else new. And that's, I think what was the initial spark of like, wait, let me try something messy because she was going through it and just going, I'm, this is going to be totally messy. And I could see what helps so much is seeing her thought process on like going, okay, there's a grid over here. I can track things. She uses the, um, heart breathings, the HB 90 system. And I can see like, just like this, where there's a bunch of grid there that you can track those, you know, Pomodoro 20, 25 minute, um, like productivity blocks. I look at my productivity very different. I don't time it. That doesn't work for me. But um, to see like I spent from this hour to this hour will be beneficial when I get to like the week's part. But she saw like this grid was like, oh, I could totally use that. <laughs> and then start going, oh, well, if I do this and then if I, I'm on dialysis, here are the things I can do. And then when I'm off dialysis, these are the things I can do. And that's very much a, a big part of chronic illness are the things you can do it sometimes and can't do it sometimes. And also being a parent, right? It's like, there are things that you can do when your child is home from school and there's things that you can do when they're away. And so kind of having those different tasks, I, I was really inspired by that, um, which may come into fruition in these as we work going forward. Um, this was a little chaotic over here. There were so many ideas. Again, there's like a lot of things here. I'm bringing it back as simple and as like to get through these thing, three things in the next quarter is my real goal for work. Um, I'm slowing it down. I'm keeping it that essential. And then I can layer on more to that when those are going well. And I think a big part of it was um, being off of meds, I could tell how loopy my brain was. I mean, the oxy, yes, but like just being on Tylenol, taking two at a time, that's a lot for me. I get fuzzy brained. Um, and then even when I was on one at a time, it was still a bit much. So I like my clear headedness that I can really, and I guess it's part of my ADHD brain. It goes fast. It really does. It jumps from one thing to another. But then I also give it space to kind of ponder and I needed that, like all, all of the things out of my system to do that. And then I, as I said to some people like, oh, I'm feeling my aches and pains in my forties again. Oh yeah, that's right. My back hurts a little bo a bit in that one spot. That's, I can feel that again. But, um, actually the last couple days, it hasn't been so bad. I'm I'm getting used to it again. So long story short, how can I um, incorporate these? So I'm just looking at July right now and I'm going to be putting personal here. I, like these are the priorities for the quarter. And I can see that being more work related are things per quarter and having more personal things down here. So if I want to start adding these in, 
And I think I'll use these dots actually, um, cause that would help. So I just want to do kind of actionable things. So like haircut, um, because self care is kind of ongoing. Um, let's see, do I want spaces in between things? The spaces make it easier to read. So I think I will. And I realize I'm kind of a, a square off here. Um, I think I'll put it here. The drafts, I think I, do I want to put that on? No, it's not something I'm going to track. Um, website's already on there. Therapy. I think I'm just going to put a dot when it's all done because I am going to be tracking it on these other pages. My infusion. Um, those are my focus things. Oh, and then July insurance. I know I'm off the screen here for a bit. Um, it looks like jury. <laughs> it looks like an R. Let's see. more clean that I can read this, the more I can kind of focus on things. Um, and then July budget. I don't think I need to track that because that's kind of, um, and then some refunds coming in. I don't feel like those are top priority. So then I'm just going to put like, I think the garage trash is going to be more August. That's so weird to say. <laughs> Cause that feels, as I said, like June is the Friday of like, at least in this, um, corner of the U S I know a lot of kids have been out since May, but for us, because we're so late in June to get out, it's like the Friday of the summer. July is the Saturday and August is the Sunday. So we don't have any school in August. So do I want to say, Oh, I even spelled garage wrong here. That's okay. Um, I think I want to focus on, well, it's going to be my son, his room, and <laughs> he's going to go to mom school. That's going to be actually the biggest thing. Do I want to write it like that? No. So what I'm trying to do is have like the essence of these goals. And I may rewrite these goals somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe in the sidebar of the monthly. But to really go, if I want to feel really good at the end of July, um, it's going to be these things. If he doesn't clean his room or like we help him with it getting it done in August is fine. So, but a haircut would really benefit me right now. Getting through a lot of fit therapy, getting my infusion done, paying for July insurance and starting up mom school, which I'll explain in a minute. Like those, that's like a big deal. So let's see if I can um, match these colors. That is very faint, but that's what it is. So these are, and I could actually put red for the top ones. My infusion is health related. And see, this is the first time I've had these colors come into this planner. So this is green. What would I call mom school? Is that relationships? Yeah. I'm going to put it here and I know there's dates in the way there, but, um, and then, yeah, and then this is purple here and then I'm going to 
because mom school I do very much want to track so mom school where's my red one Here it is. we've done it pretty much every summer it's basically a summer school that we do at home I don't use any kind of curriculum I just use like I really like this this looks awesome actually I'm just trying to think like when I don't have this at all like I could get the companion notebooks but if I don't have this at all where would all of this live this to me is the condensed and actually the most accurate of what I'm going to be focused on because some of these are a little fluffy and not as necessary this is like the core of what I want to do and it looks so much better than like a brain dump this is pretty much was a brain dump so I wouldn't lose things I can do brain dumps later like on pages that I don't do a daily that should be my process so when I look at this and I turn it this way and then I I simplified this too of like website hits YouTube Instagram and newsletter numbers those are the only numbers I'm going to be tracking um, moving forward and I do need to do my numbers for this last month. It's just not the end of the month. I like to do it on the first. Um, so I think I wanna track, so there's one, this is kind of all one thing, so I don't mind just combining all that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, you can almost go every other. Do I want to track therapy? No, because I'm going to track that on the monthly. So that's one down. Haircut, I don't need to track. Infusion, I don't need to track. The insurance, they're all kind of like one-time things. So I need to track the website itself, the onboarding, the offboarding and mom school. There. That feels, especially <laughs> since I'm keeping it super, super simple. Um, since I'm tracking them here, the question is like, how am I going to be tracking them within here as well? So when I go to the monthly, uh, well, I think what I'll do the dots are just very permanent. So as I just mentioned, like I'm trying to make this dry a little bit, um, I'm not going to have therapy here. So that is going away. Um, okay, I'll just leave these as squares right now. I think I'll fill them in with dots when they are done. So when I have therapy here, I might erase this and put a red dot. I might even put a check mark over it. But what was annoying me, I'll show you, because July just got so much. Um, I've absolutely needed this outlook. This was part of my monthly reset of just getting all these on here. But then, like, so many of these. Here, I can check off surgery. Woo! Um, get this a little up to date here. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, that happened. Um, this is the one we missed. And then this is the one from this week that I did these. And then this, he didn't go to that one. Um, we just let him go on Friday. And this, and then there was, oh, another Cairo here. So, as you can see, like a lot of things moved around and it was, it was a lot to, I love the color dots, but I think I need the color dots for when they're done. And I was kind of using so many different colors because I had the gynecologist, oncologist, then I had my gynecologist, then I had, um, Let's see, so this was an X and this one happened. And then I'm just catching up to date here. Yeah, 
So this was not a skip. Because I really use this to go and look back at my charges for things. Yeah, and then I had a first. And then we had this one, and then there's going to be a one on the 30th. And that will finish out the month. But then when I look at July here, I only have an infusion here and we only have therapies here. So I'll just leave this and then like the rest is blank right now. So I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that. Um, and yeah, I really feel like one missing step here is doing a brain dump for like, how do I capture all these if they're not in everything? So I also did some stars for some local things going on in our community. Um, because there's a bunch of, you know, summer things. The topics for July, I did put them here. So I'm going to count, count that as done. The stats I'm going to do on the first. It's kind of like the 30th into the first. Usually it's like the very morning of the first. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, these were done. And then this will be the combo here. And yeah, I'm putting little check marks next to them. Although it just feels, I might rewrite those because I like how they're just on here. And I feel like the check marks are more appropriate. Yeah, I feel like this is getting a little messy. So I would rather just put a check mark next to these and not have the boxes. It's a little different on the weeks version, but see how that's cleaning things up already. Um, there's just something about like, having that for work not be a checkbox, but yet for personal have it as a checkbox. Does that make sense? <laughs> so yeah. So anything with a checkbox. And so I always put my 31st up here at the top instead of down here. That's because, because I do, because I want room down here in case there's anything. So when now I'm looking at here, I want to um, put things so all my therapies on there, my fusions on there. So I will put my other things in the sidebar here. Did I put check marks before? I did. I feel like they're more appropriate in the sidebar. And maybe that's what I'll do here. I'll erase these check marks as well. There's something about the check mark on the date that's throwing me off right now. Um, so for things I want to do is website um, onboarding offboarding. I hear my son playing up there right now. Um, haircut. Uh, those I can skip. July insurance. It feels a little weird putting this in my business planner. And then mom school I'll put here. And then I'll talk a little bit more about that. So yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of all these check marks because it's, it's really bothering me. I can, I have them at more as check marks in my health planner because that's another place I'm tracking them. But I do need to see where my personal overlaps with business stuff that I want to do. Okay. That is feeling better. Doesn't, I mean, it feels more clean to me. <laughs> um, 
So like the podcast here, I'll figure out the numbers because I'm a little off. If I just don't have energy this week, I'll just skip this week. You know, I'm almost to that point. Like I'm a day late, day and a half late, coming up on two days late. Um, it's not so bad to have it release on a Friday. It's just, and sitting here and talking right now gets me in the mood of just putting out a quick one. So, and it's not that I feel like I need to, um... But yeah, it'll be like almost three weeks if I wait till this one. But I've had a lot of stuff happening. Um, so yeah, I think I'll use the colors to fill those in because I, I feel like I could erase those. But um, having them in colors here, I don't know. That's really cool. So do I want to do that here? I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> I think I'm going because I don't like my boxes here. I think that's what's going on. I don't like it when I'm writing these boxes. Uh, it's just, and these aren't kind of moving around here. Like it's the moving around of dates and appointments. That's what gets me the most. So haircut. Um, and then mom school. Okay. Let me tell you about mom school. <laughs> so what we would do in the past is do like 15 minute lessons of whatever I want to show him or whatever he wants to learn. It's again, I want him to discover things he's interested in. Um, like when he was much smaller, we had these little plastic animals and we would research uh, what continent they live on and then we had like a map and then he would put those on the, the continents and that's like a 15 minute lesson and then we would do a little math and then we would do a little writing and a little bit of this and that okay so now he's entering middle school so that's a very different um level of things oh i'm just i'm loving this i'm loving this um i'm trying to see if there's a sticker I want to put down here as I'm talking. So sorry for the plastic rustling noises. Um, they, I didn't get them out previously. So now that he's in middle school, there is some like work he didn't quite finish up for the year that we're going to be reviewing. Um, per his IEP, he um, doesn't have to do a full page of math. He only has to do half. And he actually does absorb a lot of that training, that, well, that learning for doing half the work. Um, he's pretty quick on picking things up, but dexterity wise, it's hard for him to write a whole lot. Um, so anyway, there is like a lot of math sheets we can go over. That's especially what I want to work on because there were some things that were tripping him up. I'm kind of looking at these because I like the lemons. Um, so there's also some like interactive science things I want to work on with him. I've been gathering some, well, I just found like a couple like interactive type science. And I, actually just this morning, I stumbled across a math that's more fun. It's more interactive as well um, on the screen. And so I'm, I'm kind of looking at both of those, but the other key part of this mom school, because it's middle school, um, now in elementary school, there are times of the week where you have specialists and you're moving to different classrooms, but, and he was getting into that. He was actually understanding a lot more this year about how, um, time related that is. Let's see, I think I want to put this right here. Woo! And um, these are not quite lemons, are they? I think I'll just stick to this one. But he's going to be have to, having to move classrooms <laughs> quite often. Um, so what we're going to do is as we're going through these 15 to 30 minute type 
lessons is we're actually going to move around the house. Now, my son's autistic, so he needs and his executive function skills are a struggle. It's just hard for him to feel the passage of time. And I get it. <laughs> I get it. It's hard. Sometimes you kind of zone out. Sometimes, um, you know, you just, you want to focus on the things that are really interesting. Let's see. Do I want to put this here or down here? Probably here. Here or here. Here or here. <laughs> How about like that? Um, so yeah, that we're going to actually physically get up after a session and go to a different room and try things out. Like I love these, these lemons here. Do I want anything else? Is there one more? Let's put a blue. I feel like I should just put it in the middle there. Um, maybe here next to my podcast. Just kind of, yeah, to bring more attention there. So, yeah, I just wanted to put a couple little things on there. So this is now taking the spot of this, although I'll keep tracking in here in case I do want to come back. I'll just have the records there. Um, so going forward, I am not going to be doing weekly planning in here. It's going to be in here which will be interesting. <laughs> I'm used to using a lot of washi. Um, I have been using like, you know, a strip of washi and like just a couple things. I love this pink. This pink is just so beautiful. So I'm filming this today and this will go out tomorrow. And then hopefully I'll do like a quick podcast and be up to date. Now here, it's not Moxie Light. This is, I put that in before. So I'm just going to say it's going to be a combo, which will just only be plan with me. There we go. Um, I guess I like the check marks down here because it's separate. I think because there's a separate thing and there's a separate thing here. So I'm filming my reset and I was checking in with my clients. Um, so yeah, this week will be very interesting because it'll have a lot more on it. And that's what I want to experiment with is like, how does this feel? And I'm really contemplating on making, let's see. So this will be like July, Wednesday of possibly going through and making these have some stickers on them. Um, so I use them a little bit more. I know a lot of people do that is like they pre-sticker the week. So I would pre-sticker these for a little bit. Um, and then actually start showing like all of the, like the daily kind of make a structure here. So that's what I'm playing with for the next plan with me. So that will be a larger one, but again, it'll be combined. So I'm only doing the one video <laughs> again. I didn't mind doing two. That's not really the reason why I'm cutting back because I could easily go back to having them separate. It's just when I look at a planner, um, is it too busy? Am I sussing out what I need to do? Am I also understanding the patterns that I'm seeing? Am I seeing where I'm over scheduling myself? There's pros and cons. Like it's very... I don't have a right answer because it depends on your brain. When I started pulling out all of the health stuff and putting it in my health planner, it helped a whole lot. Like I was like, well, there's a lot of privacy issues here. Like then I can be more free and track so many more things. Um, because I think I could be, if I wasn't recording anything, like just have one absolute planner. I think I could do that but there's something that I want to show up and talk about what I'm going through. So, um, but seeing how the work, like I was putting appointments on here anyway, but then like seeing how many hours I'm working, what's overlapping. I think that's, that's going to be the interesting part about this coming week. Um, like this will be a holiday. 
We're officially starting mom school, I think, on this Wednesday. We're just going to kind of <laughs> leave these because I need as much rest as possible. But we'll be up at a certain time, do some mom school in the morning. Like, it only lasts a couple hours, and then he can play the rest of the day. So, yeah, and I think we'll do, like, I'm just thinking in my head um, that I'll use one of these brain dumps out here of, like, okay, we're going to have these subjects, three or four subjects, and one of the things that he has to do is clean a, a certain part of his room. And I think if we just kind of slowly do that every single day, I think it's going to make a big change. So what do I normally do in here to wrap this up? It was mainly these two pages. So then it's like, where do I put my reflections? And then the weekly actions for the next week. And that, um, I think, you know, the weekly actions can be here. And then I don't feel like I have to fill every single one in and I'll use my little dots. Um, I think that'll feel really good to carry the dots over. So starting in July, um, weekly reflections, I think will have to be in the daily area. There's really not any room here unless I like, like what were my wins, what worked, what didn't work. I might be able to fit them in here. <laughs> I could try that just right here, you know, for the one week. Um, and then moving into the next one, like seeing if they'll fit here or maybe down here. So thinking about that, I might put the washi tape up higher because I don't need these hours at all. It made a nice little clear area down here. But I think if I put the washi tape higher, I could put, yeah, I could put my weekly reflections there. So this is what I did. This is what I'm reflecting upon. Um, and then this is my new to do like that would work. Okay. That's what I'll try for the coming, coming week. And if I need to reflect more, there's pages back there. So I'm, yeah, I hadn't thought any of that through. So, uh, so I hope you're game for trying this experiment with me. I know a lot of you are tuning in mainly for this planner and it is the hotness right now. <laughs> it is the, the hot item. So many people, sorry, I'm shifting my weight a little bit. Um, I need to stand up. So many people are loving this planner. Again, I, I might get a new, maybe I could look for that on Amazon for my birthday list is like a new cover. I, I like this one. It is like there are no marks or scratches or anything on it. It's not going to patina really because it's plastic, but I might be just fine with this. I don't like one that snaps. I don't like a snap here because when I put, I put all my planners in vertically on a little shelf. I don't think a lot of people do that. So when I line them in, I don't want something coming next to it and just unbuckling it. I don't need to hold pens here. I have a pen case. So this is really doing its job. The only thing would be like a zipper version, which would mean then I'm putting pens in there. I don't, I don't need to do that. My system's working. I don't <laughs> simplify, simplify. So that is my... 2020, 2023, July, 2023 goals reset. I'll have these in here in case I come back to this one, but it'll be really interesting if something kicks off and I like don't really use the rest of this. That would be kind of mind blowing. I do have um, quite a few things coming up the very first couple weeks of August. So that'll be like, if I'm like, no, I love this. Um, I have, uh, this is allergy testing. Uh, that's not going to be fun, but, um, uh, cause I have to go off of all my antihistamines for three days and I have bad allergies. So to, um, get through these and some other things here, that'll be the test, right? Is like once the New month rolls over and I'm using this for more and more things. That'll be really interesting. And then school, doing all the school things. Cause that's the number one thing here actually is that I don't, I can do mom school, but I never like outlined. So it would have been like a line 
let's just say, well, Monday was off, but it would have been a lot. I like to keep track of like it would have been here to here of just having some lines like that for every single, for all my son's school. So I think so. I like, I feel really positive about it. And yeah, thank you for joining me. And I, if you have any suggestions, I do welcome suggestions um, with how you're using this that might have like, oh, hey, I've been doing this for a while in this um, Sterling Ink one. I've been watching a lot of Sterling Ink videos, so it's not like I'm brand new, um, but still, I would love to hear what you have. So until next time, thank you everyone. And I will see you on the plan with me weekly for this, for the combo version. And see you once a week for all that for July. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.